Hello literature lovers today i want to discuss philip roth and his zuckerman novels he is very famous for it and he also talks about it starting with his biography and how philip roth uh, succeeded as the greatest living novelist of the first generation jewish immigrant parents and he is a celebrated essayist photographer critic memoirist and his works and being and short stories were recognized all over the world and even though he was really talk of about the jewish background which was not really praised in america still his work and his genre was really uh, flourished and how he is gifted with wit and his elements of satire humor all of them really have placed a phenomenal work of his time and you can read it clearly how widely he was praised by his work and especially his jewishness we are all aware that jews are not accepted in most of the countries around the world and and they have their peculiar style of thinking and here this writer really moved the world with his works and all the important aspects related to his family is given here and especially the peculiar quality uh, that this writer has which really made a mark is that zuckerman in trilogy or we can say it's a series uh, including these works mentioned here the ghost writer and then that series going with the one of the most recognized one is the american pastoral and exit ghost all of them are part of that same zuckerman series and the series really talks about this american trilogy series are part of it this work and have their different conflict and including that father son conflict as mentioned in the following series and there is anti semite rule and different kinds of alag realism being talked about with judaism and then jewish uh, style is used here and we can read in the works how peculiar styles are being used here and there are also class differences being upper class and the midwest middle class jew and another one of the best seller is portney's complain and this work is considered one of the is in fact considered the most controversial and most vulgar work in the history of literature portney's complain and if you read it you will really won't be able to get an eye uh, from what kind of work it is since it contains some really really vulgar instances and it was a best seller although and it was recognized other works being letting go and goodbye columbus is also praised all over the world and it also contains really great and talking about the zukaman series and nathan zukaman that is the person uh, character which really marked it as a trilogy or you can say the whole series since it contain more works and it is also worked as different universities many most of the universities have used his work there are other works being mentioned here and you can read it and another comes the great american novel and my life as a man these two works really mark another significance and it is also part of his greatness that these two works being used and other essay writing american fiction talks about roth's work and there are different critics that have their opinion about it and how he talked uh, in different aspects related to it we can read it clearly and 
there are other aspects that realistic novel and then some instincts that american jewish mixture all of them take part in its patriotism is also one of a characteristic and there are autobiographical works other writers like saul bello also recognize his work and talked about it and his works are really have a piece of art and james joyce and different writers also talked about are in his work and he used a slice of them in it and different critical works and explanation is given here and also the reference of cultural revolution in 1960s is also given and trilling a very famous critic another works that comes here now is my life as a man <coughs> sorry is also used here my life as a man and the work is given portney's complaint is obviously the milestone and we can see it how it rejects and being sex as used as a is a concern in it and it is containing different aspects related to it obviously fried's uh, use of sexual love is part of it and next comes the human stain it is another kind of love you can talk about it is a great one of my personal favorite the human stain and i'm sure you will also like it talking about the modern american working class and it's filled with characters and peculiarities and you can talk about now comes the best book in the 90s that american pastoral very famous very recognized and talking about the vietnam war and which is really mark of american failure as all of them really don't like the way american was doing with vietnam and the whole story revolves around it and it is really uh, talking about how these characters next comes uh, talking about the an alter ego uh, of in my life as a man and we can think about this work in different context and since you can read it clearly talking about personal experiences and different characters related to it and i'm sure you will get an overview it is not so simple to you know summarize philip roth his wide variety of work and that touch of modernism and that postmodern effect which will really hentrick you since these works are very much complex you see with the technology is being complex the works of literature are also in complex relationships are in complex it is difficult sometimes to understand how this autobiographical element some paradoxes the complexities are related to it which really talked about the historical truth the narrative truth which really is a consideration how we can talk about there is also some persuasive hypothesis related to history and in his work which really intrigue you and i'm sure you will get the talking about the effects that bakhtin dialogism got into his work and freud is obviously part of it you should learn and there are some critical work references by paul rico and you are reading it right now and how according to him the autobiography studies is there and some kind of self invention is can be used and there are works which really talk of his work and there are references and you can see paul de man also talked about his works and so many critical references and it is so difficult to summarize his work in short time but i know that it is containing so much wide variety 
being the right LD tax. The counter life is another work and I'm sure you must have got through it. And the counter life is a different kind of with the time. Uh, the character is being used so widely and in so many works and it started evolving. I'm sure this is because of the process and it's now comes another very famous work and my personal favorite Operation Shylock. This work has some really different kind of work. You can see there is elderly writers and then father's domination and talking about the human relationship in really deep context as you can talk about it here in the Operation Shylock and the work is of different genre. Sometimes you have to be in really psychoanalytic way to prove how it is. Since so many critics have also used it uh, as a true story and some autobiographical elements, some other elements related to it and the term is somewhat uh, a sign of increasing friction between the father and son and it's, uh, who is right and who is wrong who is more hard working the patrimony is there in the father's life it's more of a confessional novel and really praised all over the world and have really moved the thinking of the people and being critically acclaimed too it is one of the greater works. Next comes a different genre and there are some textual references related to Operation Shylock and you can read it clearly and you can understand how the characters challenging contest is there between them and some different themes are being used and all the paradoxes being discussed in clear light of knowledge and it is a repetition talking about the aim of life is that and that's the whole criteria that we can end up in this and it is important to understand uh, since Sigmund Freud is, was also a Jew so all these references also somewhat revolve around the, his personal background too so you can really understand the whole autobiographical and the cultural mixture being mingled all together here. I am sure you must have gotten representation of how a Jewish American writer facing discrimination and still that in the American context they were writing and all the works including Portney's complaint and how the action was there, what was the references and the other works being used here and in fact all of them in the chronology of his life have a different context and having re referred to with different chapters of his life and how the textual references as given here was used uh, being part of the and that Nazi context uh, what happened in Germany and these are some of the references which come through which almost every Jew is aware of and we are also aware of that relationship it's a very touchy and emotional topic to be discussed on I'm sure you must have got an overall view of how these things are thanks being part of it Thank you.